And I'm scared because I'm feeling a presence in my room. I'm feeling that there's something in the room with me. back to my channel guys if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you please click the subscribe button below and join the revolution on a very serious note for those who do not know to sign into YouTube you actually use your Gmail email account so your Gmail email sign into YouTube with that and you're free to subscribe you're good to go guys subscribing is free doesn't cost a thing so why not do the right thing babes do the right thing in it subscribe for the vibes for the good things for the babies for the nice time all right so so guys, today's video is one that is very dear and very, very, very important to me. My faith is a very important part of my life. My belief in God is a very important part of my life. If you've seen my Instagram, you've seen that at the center of my post, um, there are black posts and all those black posts are all God related in one way or the other because my faith is the most important thing to me. That being said, now we're gonna speak about matters of faith. And in particular, we're gonna speak about testimony. Guys, testifying is very important. There's a verse in Revelations that says they defeated the enemy by the power, by the word of their testimonies. So testifying is very important because you give glory back to God. God says he will never share his glory with anyone. So it's important to give glory back to God, to thank him for the things that he has done for you. Another reason why it's very important is because you make people aware. There are people who are going through what you're going through, who have gone through what you're going through, will go through what you're going through. And by hearing your testimony, you encourage someone else, you know? And even if it's not a matter of them going through what you're going through, you encourage other people who are going through a hard time period you make people see that oh wow if god could do it for them he'll do it for me the god who did it before he will do it again you know what i mean so guys testifying is very 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 important and it's important that once good things happen to you that you don't take that credit and give it to yourself and forget about god remember god in the good times as much as you do in the bad times so anyway Guys, I want to tell you guys about some miraculous things that God has done for me. This is my personal experience. This is not something I read. This is not something I that someone else told me. This is my personal experience. This is what I personally went through. Um, and I hope that this encourages you as a child of God to see that God is real and, you know, he answers prayer. My first testimony, I think I was in grade um, eight. It was around grade eight, grade nine, somewhere there, which is around 14, 15 years old. Suddenly, I started to see shadows. I cannot make this stuff up, guys. I used to see actual shadows. And when I say shadows, I don't mean I would see it on the ground as in, you know, this is a human being and then this is the shadow. I would see the shadow standing up like this as like a human being you know so i would see an actual shadow as if it's standing but here's the thing i would not see the shadow standing right in front of me so it's not like they would stand right in front of me and be like what it do baby no it was not like that i would see the shadows run past me like i would see them at the corner of my eye so like i would be literally chilling i would be at school i would be at home i'd be watching tv i'd be doing my homework at any given time i would see a shadow run past and it was so fast honestly in less than a blink of an eye that shadow was gone and it was very uncomfortable because there would be times where i would feel that something is in the room with me if i don't see it run past i would see it standing there at the corner of my eye i would see it standing and literally just watching me almost like it was staring at me observing me you know what i mean almost as if like it was just plotting when it can just take me that's what it felt like but mind you i was still new in learning about spiritual things therefore i thought i was crazy I, I didn't tell anyone because I, I thought I was crazy. How are you going to go to your mother and be like, I'm seeing shadows? What do you mean you're seeing shadows? You know what I mean? Uh, or how do you go to anyone and say, you're seeing shadows? People are going to think that you're crazy. And honestly, you need to understand that this is actually a torturous experience because I myself was wondering, am I crazy? Because I would feel it, but then when I, when I look, it's gone. It's not there. Or when it runs past me and I look, 
it's not there so i was questioning myself am i crazy what's wrong with me am i really seeing it and i'm scared because i'm feeling a presence in my room i'm feeling that there's something in the room with me i'm seeing things running past but when i look it's not there it's a very torturous experience now what happened is one day my mom went to see the pastor and i went with her like guys if you know me and my mom you know that i'm they call him they call me her handbag like her actual handbag because if you see my mom anywhere, chances are I'm not far away. I'm, I'm probably somewhere in the room. I'm probably somewhere there. I'm always where she is. We're always together. Um, so she went to go see the pastor and me being the handbag, I went with her. So she's talking to the pastor and stuff and I was just sitting there. I was just quiet, you know, just, I was just chilling, honestly, just waiting for them to finish and stuff like that. Um, and then when they were done, my pastor was like, all right, let's, let me pray for you guys. But then he was like, wait, let me pray for her first, being me. So he takes my hand and he starts praying for me. And he's like, every shadow spirit, every spirit that is following her, like a shadow, I command you in Jesus name to leave her from today she will never see you ever again and he basically cast out that spirit and guys i wanted to cry you know i didn't because real niggas don't cry but jk but i didn't i wanted to cry because i was like oh my goodness it was real the things i was seeing it was real the presence i was feeling it was real that's Everything that I was feeling was real and and remember I didn't tell him a single thing. I didn't mention anything at all He's the one that prayed for me and you know, like he does this thing my pastor's a prophet, right? So like when he prays for me like he does this thing right where he'll be praying for me and then he gets quiet guys That is the most nerve-wracking two five ten seconds of your life Because in that moment it feels like he's reading your mind like it feels like he's he's looking to, like he's trying to read your mind and see It's not what it is. But that's what it feels like. It's like oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. And then he gets quiet. It's like, what is he seeing? What is he seeing? You know what I mean? So very nerve wracking. Um, but yeah, I didn't tell him anything, and he prayed for me. And guys, honestly, uh, it's been it's been five years. No, more than five. I think it's been six, seven years or something. I have never seen those shadows ever again. I've never seen the presence. I've never seen them run past or anything. And now. Ever since then, I have never seen anything like that ever again, and I have peace again. Guys, and that is something that only God can do, you know? That is something that only God can do. It is not a pastor who heals. It is not a prophet who heals. It is God who heals, you know? It, the prophet is empowered by God. God, the spirit of the living God, works through the pastor and delivers you, heals you, you know what I mean? So that is something that only God can do. You know, so for me, I I know that there are people who will watch this video and probably think I'm crazy or don't believe me. But those who know spiritual things, those who who have been through something similar, know how real this is and how it can actually ruin your life because you can't focus. You're at school. You're at anywhere you are. You're seeing shadows. So yeah man my life changed since then i have never seen something like that and that is one supernatural miracle that god did in my life so guys if you are going through something similar if you feel like there's something following you or if you are seeing something you are seeing shadows at the corner of your eye you feel a presence in the room don't ignore it pray for yourself um get your pastor or go to church and let them pray for you because it's real and something is actually happening to you i just want to encourage you and i hope that these testimonies will inspire someone who's watching out there who's going through what i went through who will go through what i went through or who has gone through what i went through comment down below if you've had your own supernatural experiences where you know that this is something that only god could and has done i don't believe in god because someone told me i believe in god because i've seen him work in my life and just because you believe in god there's this misconception that because you believe in god you will never have hard times you will never struggle you will never not have money you will never lack that is very 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 untrue guys as i said before many are the trials and tribulations of the righteous but the lord delivers them from them all if you look at a lot of god's prophets in the bible if you look at joseph if you look at elijah elijah went as far as saying god kill me kill me i can't take it joseph was uh, thrown in jail for how long you know paul and silas thrown in jail you know what i mean 
um what else uh shadrach meshach and abednego hello they were thrown into the furnace you know um daniel thrown into the lion's den what am i saying weapons formed against these great men in the bible weapons will form against you however the same way that Joseph went on to become king after that and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego did not die, Daniel did not die, um, Paul and Silas were released. These weapons that are formed against you will not prosper. And you need to remember that this too shall pass. What you need to do is you need to be still and know that God is God, that even in your storm, that God is God and he has the power to calm every storm. You just have to maintain your faith. You have to maintain your faith in God. You have to keep praying. These situations happen to keep you from praying, to keep you afraid. But you need to remember the promises of God in this hard time. Easier said than done, I know. Because when you're going through the fire, you're not thinking, oh, hey, you know, you know what I mean? You're, like you're thinking, I'm burning. Be still and know that God is God and he will never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you. And everything that you are going through is there to strengthen you, to refine you and prepare you for the place where God is taking you. You know, I recently watched something where they said that sometimes God keeping you at that low position that you're in is an act of mercy. Can you believe it? An act of mercy. What does that mean? It's because God knows that you are not ready. You are not prepared for a new level. A new level comes with a new devil which means you have to be able to fight more. You know what I mean? So guys, don't fail your test, you know? Even though it's hard, keep your faith, keep believing, keep praying, and know that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He's always there for you. He will always answer you in his time, in his own way. And remember, God's ways are higher than our ways. Even our wisest, even our wisest, is foolishness to God, you know, and his foolishness is wiser than our wisest. You know what I mean? So for those going through a hard time, please hold on, keep your faith and remember that God is God and he walks with you. Um, and for those who are not testifying what God has done for their lives, please guys repent, turn away, um, give God his glory, you know, give God his glory, encourage other believers, talk about what God has done for you. Don't be ashamed to speak about it because if you are ashamed here, Jesus will be ashamed before his father. And that's really time scary. That's really time scary. Guys, that's what God has done for me. And that is part of why I believe in God. I will do a video where I explain the importance of knowing why you believe in God. Again, I said this before, but comment down below your own personal testimonies. Let's share it. Let's spread the good works of God. Let's encourage other people. Yes, uh, yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am living for the Lord. Maybe. Hallelujah. I feel him down in my spirit. But in the meantime, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.